us. Now, at the start of the show, you would have seen Tony, our cameraman. Um, he loves it, films. Uh, we've worked together for 22 years all over the world. And he's an amazing man. It's the most interactive show we've ever brought to Boston. So much so that on all the doors, as you walked in, it's a Studio 36. We had a secret camera on every door. We could see and hear everything you said. Oh, oh yeah. We can even got a camera here in the front of them. Hello! Hello! There you are. But what we realised was there's lots of celebrity lookalikes amongst you all. So let's meet and greet them right now. First up, we've got Nessa from Gavin and Stacey. But where's Nessa sat? Where is she? This is. Is Seventy-five times ninety-three is six thousand nine hundred and seventy-five. It even knows the weather. I don't know how it works, but it does. What's the weather going to be like tonight? Why don't you open a window? <laughs> it plays songs. Play a song that sums Stephen up. A song that sums Stephen up. <laughs> Who are Anton Depp? 
and in deck are Britain's most popular television presenters. Yeah, they tell me every day. Do you know what? I'm going to search these out. Who is Stephen Mulher? Who's that? Stephen Mulhern! How do you spell that? Just search the host of Catchphrase. Searching. Roy Walker. You're funny. You're not. Right, forget it, Siri. It's rubbish. Now, back to the magic. We need three adults not to come on the stage, but to help us out with this next part of the show. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to spin these frisbees into the audience to make sure that everybody knows it's completely random. So, when I spin them out, if you catch one, please just stand up. Here we go. Here's frisbee number one. Here's frisbee number two. And here's frisbee number three. Beautiful. So, if you've got a frisbee and you're an adult, Please stand up. Everybody else, go to your phone and open up your calculator. I will do the exact same thing. Here we go. Here we are. Let's do it all together. There we are. Right. So, who's got frisbee number one? Hello. Hi, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Hello, Anthony. Anthony, look at my outfit that I'm wearing for tonight's show. How much do you think I spent on my outfit? £30. <laughs> Everybody type in 3 O. Then press plus. Next, who do we have? Louise. Hello, Louise. Hello. Louise, look around the venue. How many people do you think are watching the show right now? 2,200. Everybody type in 2,200. Perfect. And now finally, press plus. And who's the last person? Hello. Hello there, Eddie. Hello, Eddie. Good to see you, mate. Thank what you. time do you think I woke up this morning? Uh, 6 a.m. Everybody type in 6 and then press equal. So we're all on the exact same number. Here's the final thing you need to do. Press plus. I'm going to hold my phone face down and type in loads of different numbers. Do you know what one's like? Type in this number. Two, six, six, five, eight, one. And then press equal. Here's the weirdest thing. Three random people. How much was my outfit today? How many people watching the show today? What time did I wake up today? But look at the number. It is the 26th of the eighth month. And it's just turned 8.17 in the evening. Whenever I say, who's got the orange, 
I need you to stand up and shout in there. I got the orange, baby. I think we need to practice. Who's got the orange? Stand up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> do you know what we're doing down there as well? So when you go outside, everyone's going to think you've got a really big problem. Take that away from him. Don't let him do that again. Right. We need to give away an amazing prize. But we need a lovely lady to give the prize away to. Do you know what? Yes. Yes, you. Yes. Come on, let's do this. Let's play our brand new game. This is the case game. Right. Well, hello. You're loving life. What's your name? Becky. Good to see you, Becky. Who are you here with? Uh, my wife and my two children. Amazing stuff. And you're having a good time? Yes, thank you. I love it. Now, what do you do for a living? Work on McDonald's. Do you mean? Yeah. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Say again. A shift manager. Shift manager. Oh, lovely. I love it, Mackie Dees. In fact, Stephen, who works on our show, I always say, let's go to Mackie Dees. And he goes, I'm not looking. I love it. Sit yourself down on that seat. There you go. Very good. Because you could win an amazing prize. The prizes will appear on this screen here. If you think it's a great prize, you go, ooh. If you think it's a bad prize, you go, ooh. So good prize? Bad prize? Right, let's see what's up for grabs tonight. Here are just some of the prizes that we're giving away at Bali this year. A new car. Two left shoes. No, thank you. An all expenses paid holiday for families. Yes. A second hand mobile phone for the 90s. Doesn't even work. £2,000 in cash! Yes, yes. A toilet seat! A bathroom makeover! That's not bad! That's not bad! A 24 piece cutlery set! We don't need that! Dinner with Stephen Mulher! A hedge trimmer! No! A three piece sofa set! And that's not bad! And many, many more! Good luck! Good luck! Now, here's the deal. You need to chase one case. You're going to see six. You eliminate five, and you keep one. The one that you keep is the one you take home. Let's bring on the cases. Six cases! Eliminate five. Keep just one. The one you keep is the one you take home. The game starts now. Right. One to six. One, two, three, four, five or six. Help her out. Come on. What do you think? I love this audience. Where do you want to go? Number four. Number four. Number four. Please reveal what's inside your case now. Love it. That's great. Mobile phone. Who wants that? That's gone. One, two, three, five, or six. Three. Number three. This is what you're not going to take home. Reveal it now. Okay. So we didn't want to see that. Right. One, two, five, or six. Your call. Number six. Number six, please. Please reveal what's inside your case. Now. That's all right. Cinema system, that's okay. We can deal with that. Where is that money? 
1205. Number one. Please reveal what's inside case number one. Now. Fight. Two or five. Which one do you want to eliminate? And which one do you want to keep? Five. We're going to keep it all eliminate. Right. Eliminate number five. Let's reveal what's inside case number five. Now. That's all right. Yes. Come with me. Let's see what you are taking home tonight. Please reveal what's inside case number two. Now. Nothing. It's not my fault the silly cow picked case number two. <laughs> I'm only being serious. Come with me. I think this audience are right. You deserve to win a prize that money cannot buy. Oh yeah. If you do win this, you will have the best night out with you and your family. You will love it. This is Elizabeth, my half sister. <laughs> Admittedly, a very expensive prop for a very quick guy. Here you go. Inside here are four tickets to go and see Simon Cow, Amanda Holden, Alicia Dixon, and now Bruno Toliomi in what is still one of the most popular TV shows on the telly. But to win the tickets, and you cannot buy these, it's all on the toss of a coin. Heads or tails? Your call. This audience love you, and rightly so, but your shout. You're going tails. Right? Let's spin the coin.
一下了，走过来，啊，啊，不管。<laughs> Now, who's got the orange? I got the orange, baby. <laughs> We need to find one more lady in the audience to help us out. Can I He was on TV last week on embarrassing bodies. <laughs> But it's all done. It's all clear. Right. A lady with a five or ten or a twenty pound note. Who's gonna get it? Come on! If you don't have one, pass it to somebody else that does. It needs to be random. What's your name? Vicky. Vicky! Come on the stage to a massive round of applause now! Kiss there, nice, nice. That, so, uh, what do you do? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. Full respect for you. Amazing <laughs> job. Um, now, Vicky, who are you here with? Um, my children and husband. Beautiful stuff. Now, Vicky, even though we like threw the frisbee out to make sure it's random, just in case anybody in the audience goes home and goes, it was too good to be true. It must have been set up. Can you confirm? Nobody spoke to you before the show. No, no. Um, nobody said to you, bring a ten pound note up. No. And nobody would never met. Never met. Great stuff. And you've got a ten pound. Perfect. Right. Okay. Good stuff. Right. To make sure your ten pound note is the most unique ten pound note in the world, what I want you to do is take the ten pound note and sign your name over the face of the note, but make sure it's all across, nice and big. Can you find that? That's right. There you go. Just so we know it's definitely yours. Okay, perfect. So there's no way there's more than one of those. So we can see Victoria there. What you've just done there is illegal. <laughs> But that doesn't matter. You're on holiday. Who cares? Now look, we're going to fold your notes in half and in half again and in half one more time. Now you can see everything. As close as the entire audience. That's why we've got the camera there. Hold your note at the fingers. Make sure it stays in shape. Do it really well. This is great. Who's got the orange? I got the orange, baby. Your moment is coming. Oh yeah. We are now going to place your note inside this piece of tissue like this. You can see everything up close, and everyone can see everything on the camera. We're now going to add some heat. Watch this. Get ready. When we add some heat, this happens. Do you have any more money? I'm joking. Who's got the orange? I got the orange, baby. You've been an amazing sport. Would you mind standing up? Holding your stuff up high and walking towards the front of the stage. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. You've been brilliant. When you get what you want, but not what you need. Now, inside his sock, he's had the orange. Out of all the things you're going to see in our show tonight, believe me now, this is the one thing you're going to speak to all your friends about. Look, my hands are empty. I'll roll my sleeves up, and even I'll show you now. Look, in my back pocket, I've got a knife. But watch! I'm going to cut the orange in half. We never met. Completely random, throwing a fisting out. It couldn't have been more random. But inside the orange. That he's had from the start of the show. There is what looks like a piece of paper, but it's not just any piece of paper. This is.
is a ten pound note. But if it's the ten pound note you've signed, I will say no more. I will let the audience do the rest. Now. Hold on to it tight. You'll see why in a moment. But who is going to get one? over there, that's it. You're going to be number six. Very good. You're going to be number seven. Good man. Looking good. And you are going to be number eight at the end. Just here. There you go. Right. Perfect. Let's see who we have. First up, Anna mate, what's your name? Thomas. Good to see you, Thomas. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven? Who are you here with? My mom and her friend. Okay. <laughs> is it is it mummy's special friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. What's your name? Bruno. Nice to see you. Have you been to Bunnies before? Hello. No. No? You enjoyed yourself? Yes. Brilliant! Now, lovely to have you on stage. Do you have um what family do you have here? My sister and my cousin. Oh, great stuff. Brilliant, brilliant. What's your name? Charlie. Nice to see you, Charlie. Looking good, man. How old are you? Eight. Eight? Brilliant. And what's your name? Tristan. Tristan. How old are you? Nine. Nine? Good man. This is great. What's your name? Lila. Hello, Lila. And uh, Lila, that's a very nice name. Uh, what do you want to do when you get a bit older? Be a bear. Be a vet, oh that's amazing. And there is some great. Who are you here with? My mum and um... Don't say I'm not a special friend. <laughs> Where do you live? Number ten. <laughs> Purple Rose. More Raptor. Number ten. Purple Road. Wolverhampton. Quite specific. Very nice. Do you have a lot of nice stuff in the house? Yeah. Oh, great. Nice big TV. Do you have a big TV? Do you have nice stuff? Great. Number 10. Wolverhampton. Hello, mate. You right? Yeah. Got a girlfriend? Yeah. Can you get the girlfriend? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> quite a new relationship, yes, quite a new Hello, what's your name? Freddy. Good to see you, Freddy. What do you want to do when you get a bit older? Um, work at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, McDonald's. 
What's your name? Holly. Who are you here with? My, um, from my granddad. Oh, brilliant. What do they do? Argue. <laughs> are amazing, absolutely amazing. You couldn't write it. Now, here's the thing. In front of you, there's a magic chime. Lift up your magic chime and hold it by the string. There you go, make the shorts. Very good. Perfect. Now, it takes a lot of courage to come on the stage, especially in front of nearly 2,000 people and being so young. So, if this works at the end, I want you to go Nuts. Here you go. When I touch on the shoulder, you hit your chime. Every time I hit your shoulder, you hit your chime. It might be once, twice, three times. But every time you feel me to hit your shoulder, you hit your chime. Here we go. Hold on, mate. Very good. Very good. Very good, right. Now, move it. Everybody move it. Thank you. 